Hi guys, welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. My name is Melissa. Today I just decided to get ready real quickly. I haven't put on makeup in a little in a little bit, so I'm kind of like I'm wanting to put makeup on. Plus, I just got in the mail right now, like a couple of hours ago. Um, a new foundation that I wanted to try out because I've been hearing the hype. So, um, I wanted to try it out. So, why not do it on camera? Um, let's start with obviously skincare. And now I know a lot of people don't don't start their videos with skincare. I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like prepping your skin before makeup is the number one thing to do. Um, I already had washed my face, but I'm going to just quickly remove any excess oil, dirt, whatever we got going on with this facial wipe. Um, I did actually right here put the foundation to see if it was going to be a good color match, which seems to be a good match. So these wipes right here are just the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin. These are the Micellar Cleansing um, Wipes. I got these um, for Christmas so for my sister-in-law. So I appreciate it because I was actually completely um, out of my um, cleansing wipes, my cleansing towelettes. My favorite hands down um, have to be the Neutrogena Hydro Boost ones, but um, these are actually pretty good as well okay so i am going to go in with the thayer's witch hazel this is the alcohol free toner it's a facial mist um i like it because it's in a spray form just easier i don't like to have to use a cotton round and then apply it like no um i like that this one i can easily spray and i've really have been using it guys i do like that product so i'm going to let that sink in let that dry i'm going to go in with a serum this is the neutrogena hydro boost serum i love this stuff as well i honestly love the hydro boost line from neutrogena so so much just feel like it's hands down the most hydrating for my skin skin type that i have is extremely dry skin i'm going to follow that up with the laneige this is the glowy makeup serum um i tried this combo just the other day and i really liked how my skin looked with a full coverage um matte foundation it actually looked really good and not matte at all. So I hear that the foundation that I'm going to try out today is supposed to be super matte. So this shall help. For moisturizer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. Um, I do like this as well as the Hello Hydration um, the under eye cream as well. I like to use that one at night. I know for a lot of people it's probably too many products, but like I said, I feel like for a good base, a good foundation, and for everything to sit well, I have to really hydrate my skin and really take care of, you know, my actual skin, have good skin care. Um, before I apply anything over it because if I'm dry in a certain area, it's just gonna look ugly It's just gonna look weird. It's not gonna look right. It's not gonna sit right. So I feel like It is very very important how we prep our skin before um, Putting on makeup to be honest. I'm gonna go in with the, the primer o glow oil from elf This is just their retro paradise um, uh, Packaging I'm gonna apply that and I'm going to push it into my skin. Now the key is to also let everything sink in. I'm going to just 
give this a few minutes let it sink in and then I'll start obviously with the um, makeup prep which is you know our primers and our sunscreen and all of that okay, so it is very important to wear sunscreen I'm going to use the super goop this is the glow screen so this has kind of like a tint and a really nice glow obviously they have a regular one for those people that don't like the shimmery looking glow that this gives I know a lot of people don't like that people that have oilier skin I love it anything that gives me a nice healthy glow I'm all up for for primer, I'm going to use the Smashbox Primerizer. This is just a small little one, a travel size. This is my favorite hands down um, primer because it also moisturizes my skin. It gives my skin a layer of hydration. Okay, so for foundation, the star of the show is the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I got mine in the shade Medium 1 Punjab. So I thought the way that the packaging is, is just so beautiful. Like I love the packaging. So this is what it looks like. It has obviously that velvet matte um, uh, lid, if you will. It's the, the cap. So, um, about this foundation, it's supposed to be a more matte foundation, and it's more like a full coverage. So, it says here, the new Take On Matte Comfortable 18, 16-hour wear, full natural-looking coverage, true color, oxidation, resistant, transfer-proof, shine-proof. For normal uh, combination and oily skin types. So I have more of the dry, like extremely dry. So we're going to see how this looks on my skin. Uh, thanks to all that prep work that we've done, that I've done to it. And I want to see how it's going to look. I know that this is supposed to be like super full coverage. So um, you guys know, I personally like a light to medium coverage more towards the light i just like to look more like you know a natural skin radiance like i didn't try too hard you know i like the redness sometimes peeking through my blemishes peeking through my um what is it my uh birthmarks you know showing i'm i'm not up for the full full uh coverage but I wanted to try it. I wanted to see. There's obviously ways that you can use a full coverage foundation and not have it be all the way full coverage and work for your needs. So I am excited to see how it's going to work for myself. So let's just shake this up. I am going to apply it with my, this is the Rare Beauty foundation brush. So I'm going to apply the most coverage onto the cheeks and then like shear it out throughout so i might do a quick little layer with my sponge and then where i want the most coverage go back in with a little bit more product and then use it onto my my redness so i'm just going to shake this up i wanted to try a new sponge but if it's a new foundation i'm not going to try out a new sponge i was going to try out the la sponge la girl sponge this is I don't like this. I don't know. I don't know how I. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that one. So what I'm gonna do is, where's my little palette? I have a little palette right here. I'm just gonna squeeze some of that out, and I'm trying to use the tiniest bit throughout because, like I said, this is supposed to be a full, full coverage foundation. And this is my e.l.f. sponge.
So that is just a nice little thin layer of foundation. Nothing too, too much. Which I think it looks really good again um, due to the... Um, so let me zoom you guys in. I think it looks really good due to the products, obviously the skincare and primers that I did underneath. But it still looks luminous because of that primer oil and everything. So nothing looks too drying, which is great. I mean, you guys can still see my redness, my acne. Oh, this this looks like it's... Mm, that's that's a new one that's out right now wow but yeah it looks good around my mouth my cheeks my nose my temples my forehead in between my eyebrows it's actually it doesn't look bad at all i'm going to see if oh uh, it looks a little bit weird right here Mm, yeah, it's looking a little bit weird right above right there. You guys can see that, but we'll we'll see how everything goes. Okay, so there I built the coverage up a little bit more. And I think this is good. I mean, I obviously did do a little bit more coverage than I normally do, but that's fine. So moving on, we'll see how everything else applies right on top of it and how it wears throughout the day. For concealer, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty. This is the shade 30N one of my favorite concealers at the moment I love that concealer. I love that concealer. A um, new thing that I recently also got is from this brand called Pharmacy. So this is a brand that um, my uncle's girlfriend um, sells. And she got me this for Christmas. So I kind of do want to try it out. I used it already. And so far, I actually like how creamy these products are. So, so far, so good. Um, this is, I would say, the contour stick, um, and I'm just going to apply it around the perimeter of my face to contour and warm up the face. I'm going to use the foundation brush we've been using and I'm just going to push it into the hairline and blend it. It is really blendable, something that I did really like. It wasn't like a hard, um, hard to blend into the skin.
just to warm up the face a little bit. So for highlight, um, I also got from the same brand, um, Pharmacy. Um, this is the highlighting stick and I really liked the way that this um, contour stick shows. It's a really pretty color. So what I did was just take it onto my finger and I just highlighted with it. It's a nice, a really nice glow. Love that. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty blush. This is the cream blush or liquid blush in Joy, right? Yes, Joy. So I'm going to apply some on my little palette here. And I'm going to, where's my little, getting my e.l.f. stippling brush. I'm going to work that onto the brush first. And I'm going to pop it onto the cheekbones. You know, it looks intense, right? It looks intense. Don't worry. What I'm going to do now is take my sponge and I'm going to work it onto the Like that. Really pretty. I'm going to set my face just a little bit. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Flawless um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have the shade Medium 2. And I'm just going to just lightly. I don't want to do too much powder. And then for underneath the eyes to brighten up the under eye, I'm going to use my Brighten number two from KKW Beauty. I hate opening this. This packaging is just annoying. So it's just this like pinky toned brightening powder. And I'm going to set my under eyes. Okay, so to bronze up the face a little bit more, I'm going to take the Airbrush Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in three. Sorry, that took me a while to read. And I'm just lightly setting that contour stick that we used, that bronzer stick. To intensify that highlight because why not I'm going to go in with my favorite this is the LA color or the LA colors strobing illuminating powder and this one is in Cham champagne and I love this guys for five dollars I love this more than I love some of my high-end highlighters love it okay so a new product that i recently picked up as well is from revolution beauty and it's this soap styler so it has the soap it has a little brush and you just wet it and then you have the soap brow situation right i've actually been really liking this so that's what i'm going to use today for my eyebrows first i'm going to fill them in um very lightly not too too much and i am of course going to use my elf this is the ultra precise um ultra precise pencil brow pencil and you guys know this is one of my favorites
Okay, so I'm just going to spray this and I'm going to take the brow product, the soap, if you will, and I'm going to fluff these guys up. Okay, so for the eyes, I have a new liquid um, eyeshadow. This is from e.l.f. So they came out with their metallic shadows. And I want to wear this one all over my lid. I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to place that all over my eyelid. Kind of want to keep this look super natural, neutral, glossy um, kind of vibes. So it's like really nice, like it looks wet, which I really like that a lot. That's the shadow. It looks really pretty, like nice and like wet looking. Love that a lot. So I'm just taking the bronzer that we used with a crease brush and I'm going to add it slightly to the crease just to add color to it, um, make everything cohesive. I don't want it to be defined. I just want it to be like warmed up full like blown out situation and um this is gonna make the whole makeup come together because we're using basically the same colors throughout the face so everything's gonna be cohesive i'm gonna take a smaller more precise detail brush this one right here taking that same bronzer and I'm going to apply it to the bottom lash line. And then you know what? I can add this um super shock shadow. This one is in Olympic. This one is from the um Raw Beauty, Christy, Christy, and ColourPop collab. And I'm just going to take that with my finger and place that right on top of that liquid shadow. Not being too precise, like I even have it onto the crease. I like that look. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes and mascara that I'm going to be using is the Tarte Gifted Mascara.
So for lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF Lip Liner. I love these. This shade is hands down my favorite. Just like that. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take the Rare Beauty lipstick here. And this one is in Praise. These are super moisturizing. So then to set the face, I'm going to use the Maybelline, this is the glass spray. Um, just because this foundation is going to be a little bit more on the matte side, I kind of want to add a little bit of hydration to it. And this one gives you a very, very dewy finish. And then um, I'll use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just to lock in everything. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really like how everything is looking, how the foundation is wearing. It's looking really good. Um, I honestly think it's got to do a lot with the prep work that we did, the skin care we did before all of this, and of course the primers that I used. Um, I feel like that that's what's really helping this foundation look really good on my skin, because again, I have extremely dry skin, and it's not looking dry, it's, it's feeling really nice and hydrated a little bit of tacky side again because of this spray because we don't like to feel dry i i like that tackiness i don't mind it i'm not you know resting my face on anything or or um you know leaning up against people so i like how the face looks the foundation feels so so far i'm liking it i will leave um Obviously, the final results of the whole day, how it wore throughout the whole day today, down below. If you're not following me on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I do do a lot of updates on there. I do a lot of stories, especially on my Instagram. So follow me there if you're not following me. Um, so yes, I also do lives on Facebook. So um, make sure to be following my social media. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I do upload any video because I don't have a filming and uploading schedule period so in order for you guys to know that if I uploaded a new video that little bell lets you get notified whenever I do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one